I'm reacting to cringy TikToks. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel now. And if you want to buy or sell your watch, go to brightandpinion.com. This is very important. I want to buy your watch. I can sign them. And can sign them. And I want to sell you a watch. Let's get stuck in. A watch just makes you seem more classy, depending on the watch. I'm not talking about the big diesel crazy watches that look like the Power Ranger. I'm talking about a To be honest, these big pancake diesel watches, they look horrendous. I'm talking about something that's more mature. Something that makes you look responsible. Nice Speedmaster. More like a grown up and less like a kid. If you're getting your first watch now, and then he shows up with a hublot. Highly recommend you look for either a stainless steel bracelet or an even classier watch with a leather band. It doesn't get classier than that. It's timeless, it's gonna look good forever. Alex Costa, you're right. Next time, don't show a shitty hublot. I'm trying to make the watch world a better place. Don't f this up for me now. Here's some really great attention grabbing watches. Scumbag dad, the most modest, craziest guy on TikTok and Instagram Reels. It is really, really difficult to get in him or to get. <laughs> no, no, no. Very tight. When you watch his videos for the first time, you think, what the f? But then if you watch, like, watch him for a good few videos, then you actually start to see the humor of it. And I f love this guy. The now watch has no mechanics and no battery. It just says now. Hey, what do you want me to say to this? Did like, you wear it? No, of course not. It's f what the f Yeah, now. It's right, though? Yeah, it is right. It's never wrong. This is the most complicated movement ever created. Oh, there's no movement in there. Like, I mean, this is more a marketing stunt than anything else. Like, I really like that they have a useless crown right there. The Beam Me Up by Mr. Jones is really fun. Look at this. The minute hand is the alien's light and the hour hand is the little pig. Mr. Jones is always a bit of like fashion watches with a bit of a quirky movement design and shit. Like, I think they're assembled in the UK as well. It's just a creative take of watchmaking. And I'm just saying this, I like the fact that they're not taking it very serious. We all take this industry way too serious. And Mr. Jones has a fun take of horology, which I really, really like. There is a rumor that in order for a Rolex to actually leave the factory or be a Rolex to design, it has to be recognizable from 20 feet away. Their three qualities are self-winding, waterproof, and precision. They go through extensive testing, uh, the accuracy, the chronometer, the timing. It's all about telling the right time, keeping the right time. They also have extensive service work after, so if you ever have a problem with your Rolex, you can take it to them and they'll fix it. The clasp is opened and closed a thousand times before it leaves, so you know that when you get it, it's not going to break. The whole point of a Rolex is you buy one now, it will last you for 20 years if you take care of it. It will last you for 100 if you really take care of it. That's ultimately why they're so expensive uh, because you, you're you buying something that will last you. This video is a little bit of kicking open, an, this is like kicking an open, opening up an open door or kicking open or kicking an open door, right? That doesn't make sense, what am I saying? You haven't said anything yet? <laughs> How do you, what is that saying? Kicking open a door that's already open. What does that say? <laughs> what is that saying? It's a door that's open. It's like kicking open a door. Shut up, bitch! It is like there's a lot of words being used without saying anything, really. Can I watch this again? <laughs> Use. Can I watch this one more time? Because I really want to make some points here, right? In order for a Rolex to actually leave the factory or be a Rolex design, it has to be recognizable from 20 feet away. Yeah, but that is with every product in the world. That is Nike, Air Max, Nikes, whatever Nikes, or any other brand, or any other car. It's called marketing. It's got nothing to do with watches, nor does it anything to do with Rolex. Their three qualities are self-winding. That's incorrect, but I'll come back to that in a second. Waterproof. They're waterproof. That's handy for a watch that costs 10 Okay, right? That is self-winding and it's waterproof, right? And precision. And precision. Oh, it's nice that it tells the time whenever you need to, right? <laughs> and it actually tells you the accurate time. Right, that's not the reasons why a Rolex watch is expensive. I'm very sad to see this, that someone from Houdinki in this case, a, an old vat like Kara. She doesn't look like an old vat, but she is. <laughs> no, vet, like veteran. <laughs> not a bat, you mark. It was vet, not bat. <laughs> she's really cool. I like her, right? Never met her, but she's quite cool. Can we go through the point? Self-winding. What about vintage Rolexes, Daytonas, which I saw in this video. In this video, they showed a manual wound watch. So what's going on here, right? Second, what was the second point? Waterproof. Yeah, that's handy, but it's every 
watch on a planet that is waterproof. Give me a f***ing sh watch. Where's that f***ing watch I gave you, you f***ing ungrateful prick? So I gave you this watch, right? That was a good catch. This Timex is even waterproof. It's not really a point proven why a Rolex is expensive. And the other one was precision. This Timex is more precise than a Rolex. These are not the three correct reasons why a Rolex is expensive. Here. They go through extensive testing, uh, the accuracy, the chronometer. A chronometer costs money. To get a watch certified costs money. Good point. Like it. Yes. The timing, it's all about telling the right time, keeping the right time. Yeah, that's handy for a watch. all about telling the right time, wouldn't it? You only get a cost certification if your watch, or your movement in this case, is running a maximum of two seconds a day slow or two seconds a day fast. That is your leeway. So it shows with that certification that it is a very accurate watch. They also have extensive service work after. So if you ever have a problem with your Rolex, you can take it to them and they'll fix it. Still not a good enough reason because Tech Heuer, IWC, Every other brand, you can take a watch back when you have a f problem. Literally, this point means nothing to, like, absolutely nothing. Let me tell you the real reason, because this is absolute load of bollocks, right? What, what I'm hearing here is a load of bollocks. First of all, you're paying for branding, Rolex. And Rolex is more often seen as an achievement rather than a timekeeping device, and they use that in their benefit so, so well. I think that Rolex, by far, is the most powerful watch brand in the world, period. And that's what you pay for. It's a status symbol. Next to that, you're also paying for the materials. A Rolex is made out of specific metals, precious metals or even steel. And these are all Rolex's own bland. Bland, 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 uh, bland, bland. Did I say bland? These are all Rolex's own bland. They produce their own gold, Everose gold. Even the steel that Rolex uses, they produce that themselves. Rolex has been making the oyster steel, as they call that, since 1985. Wow. That's bizarre for a watch brand. The code name for the steel is 904L stainless steel, where all the other watch brands are using a generic steel, a generic blend called 316L stainless steel. That's stuff you pay for. We're next to branding, marketing, precious metal, also perfection and durability. Before a Rolex leaves the factory, there's many, many checks, and that is something quality control you pay for as well. Now we've seen in certain instances that this was not always waterproof, and it doesn't matter how many people you put on, mistakes can still occur. We're still talking about human work. Like, and it can't be perfect. We've seen this with a double three or a double nine Explorer. We've seen this with Tudor, which had problems with the date wheel. We've seen this in several occasions, but let's be completely honest. Rolex is the best in quality control of the entire industry by far. And that's where you're paying for. And a bit of heritage as well. All this precision bullshit is a lot of bollocks. And yes, a Rolex will last you 100 years. And you don't have to really, really take care of it. I've seen beaten up Submariners, absolutely beaten up the shred Submariners that are 40, 50 years old today. She's talking about precision, but I got a watch on which is massively more precise than what Rolex has to offer. I am so proud that this video is sponsored by IFL Watches again. IFL is introducing their new God tier G-Shock. This is the full metal concept Galaxy G-Shock, which is limited to 200 pieces. I love it. I really, really like these bracelets, you know. Okay, it looks a bit like AP, but that's what I love about it. As you know, with IFL, every galaxy is hand painted. The dial is hand painted. The bezel is hand painted. Every piece is therefore unique. The galaxy was initially introduced in 2021, and it was a great success. This is the reimagined version of that exact watch, but this time it's introduced on a full black metal bracelet. As you know, with these watches, they sell out very quick. Make sure you do not miss out on this drop. There's only 200 pieces being produced, and I love this. This is what I call GOLD TIER! Come on, I want your pickle. Start the glass. I want the glasses. Can I say one thing first? Oh, that's Drake. Drake is a f***ing legend. The glasses, Tom Brown. I don't really know how much they are. I lost them like 10 times. Bro? Found, yeah, I found them. Wait, you just, I found them. I see the earrings. I see the earrings. What is he saying? What did he say? What did he say? Oh. The earrings are like... Six hundred each, I think. Six hundred each? Yo, I'm going crazy. I hope he's meaning six hundred dollars each, but I do think he's meaning six hundred k each. Okay, I see the chain. How about the chain, my boy? You should probably save that for last. Save that for last. Okay, how about the jacket? How about the jacket? Jacket, like it's an old Jeff Hamilton jacket, like probably four bills. Or four bills for the jacket. Four bills. How much is four bills? Four k. Okay. The jacket, four k, and it just has a C on with an H. Jacket. Okay, I see the shirt. How about the shirt, my boy? Bottega, cashmere, like, probably like four bills. Like four bills, okay, I see the fish. I still have no idea what the f he's saying. Like, I mean, what the f is going on? I see the case. I'm for the case, my boy. I don't even know, but Loewe boots, I wear these like probably way too much. Way too much? Yeah. I feel like, listen, I see the channel. You say same for a lot. How much the chain? Honestly, I'm embarrassed to say. How much? Probably like nine, oh, 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 o
over 10 million. I don't think it's 10 M's, but to be honest, if you see him on the street like this, his drip, I would give him a grand. Oh, oh, so what? 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 Oh, so 400 now. But anyway, that's that's the loss of one earring. Yeah, it's Drake, mate. I like Drake. I f love Drake. Drake is f mad. By the way, may I add that I know of Drake collection and every single watch he has. And we should make a complete new video about Drake. It's insane. Drake's watch collection has developed so mad, it's f crazy. So I'm going to successfully predict your salary with just three questions. Are you ready? Yeah. What's the most expensive thing that you own? Probably my MacBook Pro. How much is that worth? Like a grand and a half. No jokes, my watch. How much is the watch worth? I think like 15k. Did you buy it yourself? What? That's a wee shitty Cartier, mate. What 15k? Yeah, that's an old Cartier Santos. That's 1500 quid right there. She just 10 extra shit. This watch was most probably something she inherited or she was gifted from her family, which is probably all right wealthy. But knowing this watch, it must have been an inheritance because this watch is, is at least 15 years old. I appreciate you wearing a nice watch though because I do think that watch is very classy. What's the first thing you splurged on when you realized you had enough to splurge? Okay, all right. The rock. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I splurged on. So when I was a kid, 13, 14 years old, in my mind, what it meant to be successful, it was a Rolex watch. Ah. Right. So there's a, there was a, such a valuable lesson out of this. So I thought for years, oh wait, every successful man has a Rolex watch and has diamonds in it. So when I finally was making a little bit of money, and this was in 1999. By the way, I was still living in an apartment, paying monthly rent, but again. Oh, you written and buying a Rolex. I was, I was just renting horrible you financial definitely decisions. definitely own if you're buying a Rolex, okay? <laughs> yes. Yeah. This is what not to do. Kind of disagree with that. Why would you buy a property when the inflation is the way it is right now? Why the f would I pay the interest rates for a house? Maybe it's different in America, but in the UK, f me. I don't want to own a house right now. My money will be f gone and the interest I pay for it as well is f gone. Right, stop about financial advice. I want to watch this. So I thought, this is it. I'm going to splurge and I went and I got myself a Rolex. I wore it at that time I was wrestling. I wore it in the ring, not for a match, but I was doing an interview in the ring. And was this with the f day date, the gold day dates? Remember that? Where he was like walking around like as a show with, I'll give you all Rolexes and sh I wore it in the ring and a melee broke out, which always happens. What is a melee? Is that knife melee? <laughs> no, that's all is I know. Knife each other? <laughs> no, I just remembered from, uh, what do you call that? shooting game call of, duty. call of duty that's why one of the wrestlers fell on the rolex when it came off i didn't see that it broke it, live tv and you see me oh my gosh <laughs> my rolex and i'm supposed to be in the moment and wrestling these other guys well, oh no my rolex like you you can see the tail i'm trying to get my rolex and somebody's like kicking me and they're trying to get it so I finally get my Rolex back. I go backstage and I look at it. I'm heartbroken now. This is my thing. And I go home that night. I remember immediately thinking, this is a sign. And I... Oh, I believe in signs. Yes, you know, it's a sign. Yeah. And I will... Um, and I don't need it. And, um, and it wasn't right for me at that time. And, and, I, and I never got anything like that again. Oh, yeah. And then they bought four of them and gave them to wrestlers on TV. And we do have a video of The Rock's watch collection. I'm just not seeing the point here. So they're basically saying, don't buy a Rolex. I I'm not sure. What do you think the message is in this? Because I don't see it. Boys, the previous owner of this. Oh, he commented on the video on one of the TikToks there the other day. Did you see that? And you know what he wrote? T-H-E. Duh. That's it. Duh. Is a renowned Chinese billionaire called Min Jing. His name's Min Jing. How funny that H. Let me see this watch. How funny that HS buys his watch because I'm going to be getting Minj in his watch. So it works, isn't it? Min Jing. Come on, Shans. Min Jing. HS Tiki Toki. I don't know much about this guy, right? But I saw a video there where some 
two slags were absolutely screaming at him. Like, that was bizarre. Thought it was funny and he handled that well. Did he not apologize for something about a fake lifestyle and shit? Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that shows some balls as well, may I add. But all I can say is that this watch is real. This is a full factory 5719. 1G, however. This is an older variation and a less expensive variation. There's a more expensive variation of this watch. It's the 10G. It has the baguette diamonds on the bracelet, on the center links, and on the bezel. Now, about fake lifestyle and how people make their money, it's always a bit mysterious, obviously, right? But in this case, I don't know the guy. I don't know how he makes his money. But that he wears a watch doesn't necessarily mean he owns the watch. Can we just point that out there, yeah? I have been spotted wearing a Richard Mille RM 2704. That watch was from a client of mine. That watch is worth 2.5 million every single day. As far as I can see, and this is, by the way, really hard to see from videos or photos, this watch is a full factory set watch. Who owns the watch? I don't know. Some watches are so perfectly set or so perfectly done that you can only really see this via a magnifier when you have the watch in your hand. Now, I don't have a magnifier, nor do I have the watch in my hand. People say that this watch is worth half a million. That's completely far off. Watch is worth about 250 to 300 grand, which is still a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. But the more expensive version, the newer version, the 10G is worth about 500, 600K. Hello, I'm Ford. Let's do what a guy's watch says about him. Holy f she is so much better looking than the last one. Remember that? Will she go home with you based on your watch? Part two, let's do it. I do not want you to come home with me. Ah, oh, I just got this image of you coming home to me. <laughs> Patek Philippe. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Bear my children. If he has an Omega, he's probably watched way too many Bond movies and he thinks he's cooler than he actually is. Correct! He wears a Daniel Wellington, get that man a time machine because he's still living in 2016. Correct! Him if he wears like a fossil watch, just get a real watch. Correct! We're heading towards the right direction here. The Apple watch man is an efficient, reliable man. He's probably very minimalistic and wants to optimize his exercise or his sleep. Apple watch is a toy, mate. Apple watch is just a toy. I actually think that an Apple Watch is an interruption and I think it's disrespectful because when you have a conversation with someone and constantly someone is getting notifications on their phone, it's really pissing me off. If he wears a Breitling, 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 and he probably wants Breitling or already owns a boat. Either way, lock this man down. He definitely don't own a boat. I don't know what a boat got to do with Breitling anyway, but I like her. She's a keeper. What's your name? What's your number? What's your Instagram? Oh, that's the same guy that I couldn't understand the first time. I don't know how much it costs. You gotta go on the website. Everything is municipal. Okay, we don't know. how much the shirt? My own brand. Represent municipal. I would love to have some municipal stuff, but I don't look like Mark Wahlberg, so with me it will look f***ed up weird. Brand. Everything. Okay, municipal. Municipal draw. The shoes. The shoes. The, the everything. He is literally repeating every word of what someone else is saying. Shoes. Shoes. Socks. Socks. How much to wash though? Oh, you know what? You know, I got a collection. Okay. This is the Indiglo. Three okay. time zones. Timex. Timex. You know, we're keeping it light right now. Timex Indiglo. What a guy! What a guy! Has the watch collection worth 25 million or where's the Timex? You don't always have to wear a really expensive watch to be yourself or to feel cool. Never forget that. What are we talking about? How much? Oh, this is priceless, bro. Priceless? Oh, there tell, you know, tell, tell Drake this one is priceless. Ah, I got you! <laughs> that one is priceless. This watch, auction value of 1.1 million, right? But this is this is not right. Why is there a naked man on my screen? When you've got a one of one piece like this, you never know what's going to happen when it goes to auction, right? So I've got reason to say that this watch in auction could go between three and four million pounds. Yeah, there's not many watches that go for three or four million pounds, to be honest, nor will that. But that's not really important. I have barely seen the watch. The one he's wearing on his left wrist looks like a Rolex Day Day 2 factory. You see that on the bezel. That's really distinctive. And the right one looks like a Day Day on the Jubilee bracelet, which is vintage. Clearly that watch on the right is a real watch. But again, wearing a real watch doesn't mean you own the watch, right? What is he trying to establish? Why 
why do you want to establish that you have money? That's my question. I'm just wondering that question. Is this social media? Is this good for other people? Hey, just sticky talky, mate. Honestly, you're wearing some insane watches and they're all real and they're all factory and they're all correct. Fair play as far as I can see. I wish I had one in my hands. If you really want to prove that they're yours and they're real, hit me up on Instagram, mate. Send me a DM, slide in my DMs and we're going to prove that to the world that they're real. But anyway, I think that that is enough TikTok for today. Maybe I'm too old. Maybe I'm getting too old for this shit, to be honest.